What we have here today is, I don't know what part this is, probably part like 182 of our 10,000 part series on the 59 uh, seats. And I got the motor taken apart and ready to go back together. There's just a couple things to pay attention to when you're taking it apart. I need to take it apart, take it home. Now I've put it back together and it's been run. That's why there's marks here on the on the motor. Um, but I did put this in my lathe. I did turn the, the commutator down and I did cut the micas. When you go to take this uh, motor apart, this plate here, uh, it slips over the electrical connector, which is fixed to the coils in the motor. So when you go to take this apart, you want to get in here with something gentle and soft, a little piece of wood. And after you've removed the armature from the other end, you'll want to just gently pry, pull this away from the housing to clear the nubs on the back, and then gently pry it off the plastic. So that's the trick for getting that end off. This end, the armature's in there like that, and this plate is here with the brushes. This will just slip off. You can pull the armature out and then use your tool to pry that end off. So this is all ready to go back together now. And something else to watch for, I should say, is the stack of washers in here is not the same from end to end. So when you disassemble this to clean it, Make sure you put the washers back in the right order and the right numbers of them on the proper end. So maybe take pictures or very carefully lay them out and clean them up one by one, but keep track of all the little washers. There's, I think there's four on one end and three on the other, or five on one end and four on the other. So to put this together, we'll slide this over the connector, just like that. This has been all taken apart, everything cleaned, got all the rust off the housing. The bearings have been lubricated already with a, with a light oil. So just, uh, just to show you the, how it all fits. And we drop the, the armature in. Now this is where it gets fun. Gotta get the brushes in position. So what I found is that you can simply hold the, br well, there's nothing simple about getting brushes to fit together on, mo on most motors. It's a six handed job. Carefully work it together, just like that. Make sure that the this upper one, that the wire is free so the brush can move. So that's how that should look when it's reassembled. Put the cover plate on. Runs good. Now sometimes the, the bearings in here are free floating. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of bind. And something I found is if the motor's running and you give it a little, a little tap, you can 
see the current dropped a little bit and it sped up. The, when you're holding it in your hand and you give it that little tap, it lets the, um, those bearings that are floating, lets everything line up w uh, with the armature shaft. So now we got a rebuilt, ready to go uh, 59 seat motor. So here we are back at the seats for our 59. Got the bracket, cleaned it up, painted, painted it, the part that belongs, it's supposed to be painted. Uh, these rubber parts, I could not source anything close. They're still soft, so I left well enough alone. These grommets here, where this, uh, where this unit mounts, like that. Um, these here, I took some standard grommets, installed them, then used a coarse sanding drum to take some of the thickness out. Those, that looks like that'll work there, because that's another part that was uh, difficult to source, and they were pretty hard. The other parts are these bump stops. You might be able to find something like this in the, in the plumbing department of a hardware store, or if your auto parts store lets you go mill around suspension parts. You might be able to find these. Uh, I use some hose and to, to improvise. I mean, some of this stuff, you know, these bucket seats weren't common. There's not anything made for them. So you're kind of on your own. So what we need to do is get this all fitted back together and lubricated up properly. All the parts are cleaned and, and ready to go. This here is the, uh, dr the drive mechanism that connects to the motor through a cable. And there's a worm gear, and it turns this uh, uh, bronze gear inside that actuates the lead screw. So, I get in here and try to work some grease down in there. Not really any good way to, to get access inside of this part. My goal is to get some grease in there, screw the screws in to force it into the mechanism. Doesn't need a whole lot. You don't need to have it come and gushing out of all the openings. Well, this is a place where you want to make sure you get some. It's down in that bearing surface in this plug. So this plug is a uh, thrust bearing for the worm drive screw. We'll make sure it gets in there and it's tight but not too tight and that this turns nice and free a little too tight okay that looks good right now now we can start assembling everything onto the bracket itself. A little bit of silicone grease on the, these rubber parts. screw has a has some flats on it that engage on the flats on the each one of these um, retaining screws has a lock washer this 
slip this little piece of rubber hose on as the bump stop. This one here bottoms out between the, the worm gear drive and this bar. And then this one here just catches uh, against, uh, against the cotter pin at the end. Engage the flat on the shaft into the cross piece. Get in there and tighten her up. Spring goes on the outside. What we're going to do is Need to manually walk it in so we don't have to pull the spring so far. The last thing we need to do is lubricate everything. And this is a area that's going to be under the seat. It's going to be around dust and moisture. Uh, you don't want things to be attracting lint and dirt. It'll just, you know, cause wear. This is some stuff I use on, on my newer pistols. I'm going to give it a try on here. Get up and... On the rollers and on the track. This leaves kind of like a dry film of lubrication. Most of the liquid evaporates. Now that working against the spring is turning as easy as it did without the spring so lubrication seems to be working good so so another completed sub assembly it goes into our 59 that can be put up on the shelf and be ready to go when we need it at caddy daddy presents it's all about giving back Please enjoy the video of the Boys and Girls Clubs of St. Helena and Calistoga. Clicking the link in the video description.